Ethan Tapper, the Chittenden County Forester, and we're out here at the Catamount Community Forest in Williston um, doing some wildlife habitat management work. So this work is covering about six acres of the Catamount Community Forest, and the goal of it is largely to create young forest, uh, what we call early successional habitat, um, and also to create habitat for a shrubland species of bird called the golden wing warbler. And I'm out here with Katie Kane, who's with the United States Fish and Wildlife Service, um, who is funding this project. Yeah, the U.S. Fish and Wildlife Service is here, particularly because of the golden wing warbler. Uh, I think the service is well known for administering the Endangered Species Act and for protecting species that are listed under the Endangered Species Act. Um, but a recent focus has been at-risk species, uh, and that's where the golden wing warbler falls. So these are species that are in steep decline and are in danger of becoming listed on the Endangered Species Act, and we want to do everything we can to keep them from getting listed. So this project fits in really well with our goals for that species to try to create some habitat uh, that they need out on the landscape. this work is to do a couple different things. So one of those things is to create what we call young forest or early successional habitat, which is just basically what happens when a large area of forest, all the trees die sort of at once, either by human created uh, disturbances or by natural disturbances like a wind microburst or something like that. And you'll see if you come out here to the Catamount Community Forest that the areas that we've worked in look really messy and that's not an accident, that's completely intentional. So you'll see whole dead trees lying on the ground, you'll see uh, dead standing trees 20 feet tall. Uh, you'll see some trees that have been left behind of different species and while it looks really messy what we're really trying to do is to emulate or to simulate uh, a natural disturbance event. Uh, there's a bunch of different reasons for this but one of them is that in addition to having diversity within our forests we also want to have diversity across our landscapes. Lots of different types of habitats um, and while this is great habitat for specifically targeted at a couple different species like the golden wing warbler. It's also great habitat for a bunch of different species of our native wildlife who are gonna use these dead standing trees as roost trees, who are gonna perch and sing on uh, these dead trees that are lying on the ground, who are gonna use some of these mass trees, these trees that are producing uh, really great food for wildlife um, as they, as they uh, stock up for their uh, winter hibernation or for their migrations. Uh, it's really exciting work for a whole bunch of different reasons. And Ethan, you just mentioned landscape scale, but on a site-specific scale, um, what you know, even a specific critter needs, like the golden wing warbler, is a diversity of habitat, even you know, within a smaller area. So what we're doing on this site, uh, what the golden wing warbler really needs, what we found in Vermont, is that it likes these shrubby areas where it can get in the shrubs and take cover, but then open spots of goldenrod and things like that, and then also mature. Uh, standing trees nearby so we're trying you know to come in and leave the native shrubs that those birds would use um, and then to take out some of the larger stuff to open up those pockets that they really like um, and we've been able to be really strategic on this site and kind of surgical um, to remove a lot of woody invasives uh, that were negatively impacting the site and the bird habitat um, and to kind of create those those openings that we want to see here. So if you come out to Catamount, what you'll see is what we might call like a mosaic of different habitat types. So you'll see obviously some areas of mature forest. You'll see some areas of like shrubland, shrubby species like dogwoods and nannyberry um, that we're keeping and trying to, to actually encourage. And you'll see some areas of herbaceous species like Joe Pieweed and Goldenrod that are awesome pollinators um, and also provide different habitat conditions for a whole bunch of different wildlife species.
whole secondary part of this work is also to deal with some pretty advanced infestations of invasive exotic plants. So we're at once trying to uh, you know, be sort of proactive, providing unique habitat for Vermont's native wildlife, and then also to react and to control some of these threats to our native biodiversity uh, with invasive exotic plant species like shrub honeysuckle and common buckthorn. And we think that this work is a really great way uh, to do both those things.